G'day and welcome back. While well, we're on a roll today, I found this. This is an old Futaba 2 channel. 2, 2 channels. See, 2, 2 channels. Futaba 2 channel was the FP2G or T2GS, whatever that means. Anyway, it was a 2 channel system. And this is why people like myself fly mode 1. I've mentioned this before. See, this is just a single axis. It doesn't go up and down, it just goes left and right. And this stick, when it wasn't broken, went up and down, but not left and right. So you had your turn control here and your pitch control here. This is what we had so naturally when we went to four channels we simply added the, um, the throttle on this stick up and down and the rudder on this stick left and right so that's why we flew mode one again here's the little meter that was so common it just has a red and a green no other markings on there that's your radio frequency output power switch on the front simple a nothing else the what this here i did have a switch here because i um, way back in the, i was a hacker hardware hacker like everybody who uh, wanted to fly these things and i built this little board and this little board converted this two-channel radio into a three-channel radio. And if, again, as I say, look, if we go have a close look in here, you'll see there's a little integrated circuit in here. There's probably an NE555, I'm not sure. I have to have a look. Little chip in here, a little integrated circuit, a couple of trimmer pots, and the, these wires that have been cut off went off to the switch on the top. So I had a three-position, no, two-position switch. I think high speed and idle. That's all I had was full throttle and idle. But it was enough because I was flying a little stick and you don't even fly them at full throttle or idle. So that was hacking computer radio or not computer radios but hacking radios back in the day now I'm going to take the antenna out of this one and take the board out and we'll see again but I think this is all discrete logic there's no chips inside here if you look in here yep there we go same setup let me pull in a bit see if I can get tighter without going blurry um, again crystal oscillator down here with the crystal what was that 27 this definitely was 27 megahertz this one is 27 045, same as the other one. So I guess I had all my gear on the same channel, makes it easy. We only had six channels back in the day. Ooh. Um, so there we go, we've got the crystal oscillator here, uh, and I think it's only a single, the, the oscillator transistor and then the power transistor, and then the output coil. Not much in the way of filtering, just one coil on the output. So these were pretty bodge radios. I mean, they did, but they're certainly the output emissions were not particularly clean compared to more expensive radios and then down here of course here we go remember it's a two channel radio so we've got two pots for trimming the two channels and there's two channel this is a two channel multi vibrator here or sorry two transistor multi vibrator and then transistor and a cap and a pot transistor cap and a pot to do the channels that was it super simple so I just tied into the uh, the data stream here I think I probably cut a trace somewhere and tied in so that I was able to add my third channel and get a three channel radio for the price of a two how good was that? Hacking back in the day. Now this again was 1970 something radio. So you can see that um, things have changed a lot and very much for the better. I think when I bought this in New Zealand, it was nearly it was $150, I think, New Zealand dollars for this two channel radio. That's a lot of money for a radio. But thank goodness things are so much cheaper now because 1977, 100 and Fifty dollars was probably the equivalent today of about I don't know five million I don't know inflation that sort of stuff but there you go more old radio gear from the bowels of the workshop what will happen next if you're getting tired of these please let me know otherwise I'll, if I find more stuff I will make another video thanks for watching bye for now.